So when it's cold and windy like this, and even raining or wet, you'll have trouble you know, starting a fire with wet leaves like this and, and small kindling that, that is all wet. What I like to find is some birch bark. It burns better than paper. So when you light this stuff, man, it'll really help you uh, get a fire started. could pull some right off of a, uh, a live tree and start peeling layers of it off that can harm the tree I wouldn't suggest doing that what I like to do is you know I'll, I'll go through the woods a little bit you'll find little pieces of it all over or you'll find a, an old one that fell down this right here, it's usually you know, hollowed out. You make a pile of that right there. You get some of this stuff going. And you get a smaller piece like that first one I showed you. You know, something like that. that in there light it all that's gonna go up and pretty much you know dry out whatever kindling you put on top and help you get your fire going you know what let me just let me show you better than I can tell you Now watch how quick it'll light up. That quick. And it's wet. So when it's cold like this, you know, and you, and you were stuck out here, you gotta get a fire going. You gotta stay warm. This is just, you know, one way of getting a flame started so that you can get, you know, some smaller stuff going. And I like to take a, a bigger piece of it, you know, to block the wind for you a little bit. Just like that. And that's gonna burn for you. Give you uh give you enough heat and enough time to where you can get your smaller stuff on there. You don't wanna be struggling for 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes getting a fire going. When you're already cold, you know, you need to get warmed up. And that's already putting off a little heat to where I can you know, get my hands warm so I can keep working. Gathering up a little bit more wood. It smells good too. You can 
go ahead and don't put nothing too big on there just some some small stuff to create you know small coals to keep it hot there went our wind wall it's all right though it's going like i said it'll burn in the wind i just had that there to to start it up make it a little easier and didn't want to fail on camera you know I just I try not to put too much on there at, at one time <clears throat> from there you got a fire going From here, you're good. You can filter out some water. Boil it on here. But yeah, the birch bark got to get a fire going and it, it's cold it's wet you don't got much to work with but you can find some of that you're in there These are just deer tracks. But the other night, I'm laying in bed, I'm book facing, I'm YouTube shorting, and the motion light right outside of my window goes on. Now, you know, often there's there's deer, raccoon, skunk. Nah. I look out the window, about five feet from my window, sniffing around, there's a big black bear. There are bears here. There have been people in the area that have told me about them. Uh, you know, I didn't know what to what to believe. I wasn't sure. But I, I put eyes on one. One came stolen through the yard. I jumped up. I tried to get a couple pictures of it. And I'll tell you, man, them things, they, they blend right in with the, with the background. I left some food out on a tree stump and... Uh, yeah, I guess they woke up. There's still a little snow on the ground. But one came through here, started eating the food off the tree stump. I let them get a, uh, let them get a few bites in, but then I started banging on the window and, and scared them off when I couldn't get no video or no pictures. So yeah, when I'm out here, I'm cautious.
different kinds of mosses. Look at that stone under there. Funguses, mosses, mushrooms, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Until next time.